Hey guys, it's Carrie, and I want to share a little something fun with you. Um, this year for December Daily, I am going to be uh, entering, not entering really, but just working along a little challenge uh, that Rebecca Hoot has got. Um, she, I'm going to show you, uh, Rebecca Hoot over on YouTube. And she also has a website, Create with Rebecca. Uh, but she is going to be doing a little... Um, uh, it's called Junk Journal Your Christmas, and uh, it's all about December daily. And so she uh, has kind of a play along that she's looking to do. And I thought, well, that's kind of fun. And I think I'm going to do it too. So um, she's doing it with a little golden book. And I thought, what a fun little idea. And of course, golden books are really hot right now. And um, this is the one that I have chose to work with, the Christmas tree that grew. And I got this little golden book uh, from Amore Fabriques over on YouTube. She also has an Etsy shop. Be sure to check her out. She is just wonderful. Her name is Selena. Um, an absolute pleasure to work with. Um, but anyways, this little book I got from her and I just love it. It's, um, it's used, it's, it's worn and loved. And, um, I love these little kiddos cause I feel like they're little kids from the seventies, which would be me as well. So here's what I've done. Um, three binder rings. These are one inch binder rings. Um, I may have to upsize the binder rings depending on how chunky this thing gets. This is just the framework and kind of the setup prep for it. Um, and I glued on some little pom-pom trim down here. And let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. I've trimmed it with lace on both the front and the back cover. I added 10 sheets of 28 pound white paper. I think I've got five or six sheets of double-sided cardstock. I have some envelopes in here. Uh, there's also a couple of bags like this. Um, these Be Merry bags I got at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. Um, so again, just my framework, kind of my setup. And then every day, as you know, for December daily, um, days one through 31, you just journal each day and, and, you know, talk about what you're up to, what you're doing, add pictures, you can collage, uh, you can simply journal, whatever you want to do. So here we go. Quick flip. So here's my inner cover. This is a pocket. This is just some coffee dyed paper that I sewed together and put a little, uh, hot cocoa on there because tis the season. Here's my bee berry bag and I trimmed it with some heart lace. And I put a little distress tag in there that I will alter later. Here's the back side. I've got a candy cane pocket. Here's some more of that heart lace. And then I've got some little gingerbread um, cuties right there. I have stitched a pocket to uh, this cardstock page. I've got a mason jar die cut. Mason jar die cut. Uh, the back of it's white. So that'll give me some good um, journaling space. Here's the cover. The whole book is in here as well. So, um, and the book is in order. Um, here's that. Uh, yesterday, I made a couple of these tags. These are scrapbook paper tags. They measure probably, I'm going to say, eight by maybe three and a quarter. Um, and so pocket pocket and then I trimmed it with lace, put some distress tags in there. And I added a bulb pin at the top. And I just put on some cute little pine cones that I had some little charmies. Here is the back side of the tag. I've got a little flip and I'll be able to add pictures or something here. Here's one of my white pages and I put this uh, cardstock on it because I loved it. Thought it went along nicely. I've got an envelope here. This is a blank card I got from Michael. So that's going to be some great journaling space. Again, it's empty in here. So it's just framework. Had some fun little guy die cuts. Here's more of the story. The paper that I have decided to work with it is a collection from Bow Bunny. Look at how cute he is. I love it with the tree. Uh, Bow Bunny collection. Um, so it's very colorful, very vibrant. Uh, and I just thought, well, how fun for Christmas. So again, just taking you on a real quick flip through because it's not done. This is just framework. Um, and again, I might have to upsize these rings to like a one and a half, just kind of depending. Uh, this is an envelope. I've got a mason on the front. A little trim lace and a Merry Christmas ribbon. The back of the envelope is still blank, ready for me to work with. I stitched in some Let It Snow uh, papers for Christmas lists uh, or things to do, whatever I decide to use them for. Here's another one of those cards. This paper is fun, so I put the naughty side up here. I have another sheet of it in the back of the book that has um, nice on the upside because 
You just never know. Popcorn trim, some little um, holly berries, more of the story, more paper. This is a piece of scrapbook paper, but it's a digital image of music paper. So I went ahead and tucked that in there and just made a little, you know, half tuck. We've got Mr. and Mrs. Claus down here. Cutie little Christmas tree. Here's another one of those pocket flips that I made with coffee dyed paper. This stuff is cool. It's felt ribbon uh, with Christmas tree. And there's a little bit of shine on the tree um, edges. You probably can't see it, but it's cool. I've got another Mary bag with some more heart lace trim. And I put a little Mary down here. Here's another tag that I made. This one's plaid. And I put um, jingle bells on this one. And then here is the back side. So two pockets again, distress tags, and then two different types of lace. And then I put a little, all that glitters is snow. That's a little ephemera piece from Tsunami Rose. I made a pocket with a mason jar. And I made a little mason, or I mean a little um, pocket shaker with some... Um, holly berries and some leaves and then I've got some music paper and I just stitched a little tab to the top tucked it in snowman page more storybook um I've got a little flip here it's Christmas in the heart that puts Christmas in the air the little quote on there there's the back side I've got some more music paper more popcorn paper here is the nice side up, and then I had Naughty on the other one. Uh, this is an envelope that I made, and I put a glassine pocket on the front and the back. This is a napkin that I Mod Podged onto some cardstock. I put some cheesecloth behind it, and then I attached it to a glassine bag so that I have a functional pocket. And I sealed the envelope shut. And then here's the back side. I've got a big mason, again, white on the back so that I can uh, journal on it and or add pictures to the front and the back, and then I can write on here. Here's a photo page with my little toy soldier. I think he's so cute. Santa Claus, Christmas tree. And coming up on the end of the book. So my last piece of cardstock and then the very last page of the story. And then here's the lace that I trimmed here. One more pocket coffee dyed paper with a hot cup of coffee because I do love coffee. And then I just trimmed it with some red sparkly um, washi tape. All is calm. All is bright. And there's my cute little stamp. Um, so there we go. And here's the back. So this is going to be uh, what I'm using for my December daily. And again, I'm going to be following uh, on YouTube, Rebecca Hoot, Create with Rebecca. Um, I think it's going to be fun. So if you've never done a December daily, maybe you should uh, join us. I think it's going to be a great time. And then I'll probably just end up doing like a weekly you know, flip through or an update or something. I, um, I don't know yet. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but I am gathering all my little goodies and, um, just kind of creating a pile so that it's easy access and easy to work with. So thank you so much for watching you guys. And I hope that you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.